And I say unto you, my friends, Be not afraid of them that killed the body, and after that have no more that they can do. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Notwithstanding ye have well done, that ye did communicate with my affliction. Alexa, how do I calm down? According to WikiHow, here's how to calm down. Step 1. Practice diaphragm breathing. Start by taking a full breath in for 5 seconds so that your abdomen expands. Hold it for 5 seconds, then release the breath for 5 seconds. Take a couple normal breaths. Then repeat the diaphragm breathing until you feel less anxious. Diaphragm breathing makes sure that your breaths are getting air all the way to the bottom of your lungs. This can be especially helpful when you feel like breathing is hard or you can't get a full breath, usually when you're anxious, angry, or stressed. Controlled breathing patterns can signal your body that it needs to calm down. It does this by releasing neurotransmitters that calm you. When you're ready, say repeat or next step. Alexa, next step. Step 2. Be mindful of your surroundings and body sensations. Mindfulness can be used to gently quiet the mind by bringing your attention to your sensations and surroundings. Start focusing on sounds, the temperature, what you smell or feel, and your breathing. Focus on these things until you start to relax. This can quiet your mind and research shows that it can reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and help with chronic pain. This can help you have more emotional control and awareness. The body physically responds to strong emotions by making you feel out of control. It secretes adrenaline which is released into your bloodstream. Adrenaline increases your heart rate, muscle strength, and blood pressure, which is your body's way of preparing for a fight or flight response. Alexa, next step. Step 3. Do progressive muscle relaxation. Start by tightening and releasing the muscle groups in order from your head to your toes. Begin by focusing on your facial muscles, tightening them for 6 seconds and then letting the muscles release for 6 seconds. Repeat this with your neck muscles, shoulders, chest, arms, and so forth down the body until your body feels more relaxed. Progressive muscle relaxation can reduce muscle tension. This can reduce your anxiety and feelings of anger, helping you calm down. Alexa, next step. Step 4. Get some exercise. If you're feeling anxious or angry, try exercising to calm yourself. Don't be tempted to focus on what's upsetting you. Instead, exercise to calm your body. When you do physical activities, your body releases endorphins which can reduce your body's stress response, improve your mood, reduce muscle tension, and calm you. Studies have also shown that exercising can change your brain, making you less susceptible to stress. Find whatever physical activity you enjoy doing. For example, you may do yoga, dance, walk, play sports, or go for a run. Since there's no set amount of exercise guaranteed to calm you down, just start exercising when you feel worked up. Keep exercising until you feel your body start to relax. Alexa, next step. Step 5. Pet your animals and take them for walks, if you can. Dogs and cats can be tremendously helpful during stressful moments. You can simply talk to your pet, stroke his fur, or take him for a walk. A study has shown that 55% of people who spend time with their pets are more relaxed while 44% felt more optimistic. If you don't have a pet, sometimes a stuffed pet can be just as useful. Alternatively, you can visit a zoo, a nature park, an aquarium or a local wildlife reserve. 
Just seeing animals go about their daily business can be calming. Alexa, next step. Step six, aim for a healthy diet. When you're overwhelmed or upset, it's easy to reach for the comfort food. Before you do that, realize that nutritious food can actually balance your mood and provide you with energy to help get you through difficult situations. In addition to eating a healthy diet, studies suggest that the following foods are useful to combat stress and help you relax. Asparagus, avocados, berries, oranges, oysters, walnuts, Alexa, next step. Step 7. Avoid substances that prevent you from calming down. Stimulants may make it difficult to relax or calm down. The classic example is caffeine, which can boost your central nervous system, making you feel more energetic. You should also avoid relying on alcohol or nicotine products to calm yourself down. Nicotine, in particular, raises your body's heart rate and blood pressure making it difficult to calm yourself down. Dependency will make it incredibly difficult to quit, increasing your stress and anxiety. While alcohol might seem like it has a calming effect, relying on alcohol to deal with stress or anxiety will actually prevent you from truly dealing with your problems. Alexa, next step. Step 8. Distract yourself with a pleasant or stress-reducing activity. Sometimes, you can make yourself anxious or angry by focusing on things you have to do or things that have made you mad. Dwelling on these can make it hard to calm down and might even keep you from accomplishing things. Instead, distract yourself. Keeping your mind off of what's bothering you can help you reduce stress. For example, you might read, photograph, do crafts, spend time with friends, dance, or see a movie. Alexa, next step step nine talk to a friend not only will talking about your anger or anxiety help you calm down but it can also make you feel supported by others you'll recognize that you're not alone social support is important for making you feel secure and accepted talking can also increase your self-worth help you vent and distract you don't forget it may even make you laugh which reduces stress too alexa Next step. Step 10. Try meditating. Sit in a comfortable position in a quiet place. Focus on your breathing and notice your thoughts. Let your worries come and go without holding on to them. Research shows that meditating for just 30 minutes a day can change brain functions and behavior. It can help you feel more in control of your body and emotions when you're experiencing anger or anxiety. By focusing on your breathing and letting thoughts come and go, you can calm your body and mind. It may be helpful to ask yourself the following questions while meditating to bring your focus to the present. What do I notice about my breathing? What do I notice about my thoughts? Can I let them come and go? Is my body tense? Where am I holding my anxiety? Alexa, next step. Step 11, count. Take a few deep breaths and begin counting very slowly. Start by counting to 10, but keep going if you still feel angry. Focus on the counting and not the situation that's made you angry. This is a great way to learn how to respond to your anger, rather than to simply react to it. When you get angry, your body releases extra adrenaline. Counting gives your body a chance to offset the adrenaline so that you don't just act on impulse. Alexa, next step. Step 12, write in a journal. Try to write descriptively about how you feel. This is a good way to confront your emotions, especially if you're naturally inclined to write. Don't worry about writing complete grammatically correct sentences. You could even just write down phrases or words, if it helps calm you down. It's the process of thinking and recording your conflicts that is most important. Keeping a journal can also keep you from dwelling on things that bother you. Once you've written down the issue and your feelings, you can begin moving on. Alexa, next step. Step 13. Develop a positive mindset. Cultivating a happy attitude can help you remember the good times and let go of things that you cannot control. 
Once you realize you can't control every situation, you can focus on managing your own emotions. This can help you take a step back and calm down. If you're struggling to stay positive, pretend like you're a happy calm person. Be consistent with this and eventually, you'll see most situations in a positive light. Alexa, next step. Step 14. Create or find a relaxing place. While this may be different for each person, know where to head when you start feeling overwhelmed. For example, you may want to escape to nature. Spend time watching or soaking in water and let it calm your mood. Or, maybe you'd feel more relaxed by surrounding yourself with people who respect and support you. Avoid spending too much time with people who get you worked up. If you can, avoid stressful situations. For example, if you know that large social functions cause you anxiety, consider only going for a short while or just meeting up with friends on a smaller scale. Alexa, next step. Step 15. Know when to get medical help. If you've tried adjusting calming your body and your mind, without seeing any change, you may want to get professional help. Getting medical treatment or therapies may help you alleviate stress or chronic worrying, which can make you worked up in the first place. You might want to seek medical help if you experience the following, which are symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder. Your job, social life, or relationships are disrupted by your worrying. Feeling like you can't control your worrying or calm down. You can't relax or concentrate. You avoid situations that might make you anxious. You have difficulty sleeping. Feeling tense all over. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth. By understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, Go, and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou hast it by thee. Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee. Strive not with a man without cause, if he have done thee no harm. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the froward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, 
but he blesseth the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Chapter 4 Hear ye children the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also, and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth, forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor, when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I Chapter 10 The Proverbs of Solomon A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a prating fool shall fall. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. He that winketh with the eye causeth sorrow, but a prating fool shall fall. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Hatred stirreth up stripes, but love covereth all sins. In the lips of him that hath understanding wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tendeth to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuseth reproof erreth. He that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. The tongue of the just is as choice silver, the heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. The blessing of the Lord it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. It is as sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding hath wisdom. The fear of the wicked it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. As vinegar to the teeth, and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send him. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the froward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaketh frowardness. Chapter 11 A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, 
but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish, and the hope of unjust men perisheth. The righteous is delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his stead. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just, the righteous, is delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his stead. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. When it goeth well with the right The Epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews, Chapter 1 The General Epistle of James, Chapter 1 James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted, when he is drawn away, of his own lust, and enticed. Then, when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift, and every perfect gift, is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way. And Chapter 13 Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember them that are in bonds, as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity, as being yourselves also in the body. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. Let your conversation be without covetousness, 
and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God. The first he for the that and the this if we but if we walk in the light as he is in the light if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness if we say that we have not sinned we make him a liar and his word is not in us chapter 2 my little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is... Chapter 9 And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here, which shall not taste of death, till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power. And after six days... Jesus taketh with him Peter, and James, and John, and leadeth them up into an high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His raiment became shining, exceeding white as snow, so as no fuller on earth can white them. And there appeared unto them Elias with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. And Peter answered and said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. And let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias. For he wist not what to say, for they were sore afraid. And there was a cloud that overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved son. Hear him. And suddenly, when they had looked round about, they saw no man any more save Jesus only with themselves. And as they came down from the mountain, he charged them that they should tell no man what things they had seen, till the Son of Man were risen from the dead. And they kept that saying with themselves, questioning one with another, what the rising from the dead should mean. And they asked him, saying, Why say the scribes that Elias must first come? And he answered and told them, Elias verily cometh first and restoreth all things, and how it is written of the Son of Man that he must suffer many things and be set at naught. But I say unto you, that Elias is indeed come, and they have done unto him whatsoever they listed, as it is written of him. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them, and the scribes questioning with them. And straightway all the people, when they beheld him, were greatly amazed, and running to him saluted him. And he asked the scribes, What question ye with them? And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answereth him, and saith, O oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. And oft times it hath cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything... Have compassion on us, and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child cried out, and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou mine unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried, and rent him sore, and came out of him. And he was as one dead, insomuch that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, and lifted him up, and he arose. 
And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. And they departed thence, and passed through Galilee. And he would not that any man should know it. For he taught his disciples, and said unto them, The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of men, and they shall kill him. And after that he is killed, he shall rise the third day. But they understood not that saying, and were afraid to ask him. And he came to Capernaum, and being in the house, he asked them, What was it that ye disputed among yourselves, by the way? But they had Do you need to unplug? Upgrade the Bible audio app to a paid subscription so that you can listen to the Word of God without interruptions and download for offline use. Chapter 11 And when they came nigh to Jerusalem, unto Bethphage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he sendeth forth two of his disciples, and saith unto them, Go your way into the village over against you, and as soon as ye be entered into it, ye shall find a colt tied, whereon never man sat. Loose him and bring him. And if any man say unto you, Why do ye this? Say ye that the Lord hath need of him, and straightway he will send him hither. And they went their way, and found the colt tied by the door without, in a place where two ways met, and they loose him. And certain of them that stood there said unto them, What do ye, loosing the colt? And they said unto them, Even as Jesus had commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the colt to Jesus, and cast their garments on him, and he sat upon him. And many spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches off the trees, and strawed them in the way. And they that went before, and they that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna! Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord! Blessed be the kingdom of our father David, that cometh in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! And Jesus entered into Jerusalem, and into the temple. And when he had looked around about upon all things, and now the eventide was come, he went out unto Bethany with the twelve. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came, if haply he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it, and they come to Jerusalem. And Jesus went into the temple, and began to cast out them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves, and would not suffer that any man should carry any vessel through the temple. And he taught, saying unto them, Is it not written, My house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer? But ye have made it a den of thieves. And the scribes and chief priests heard it, and sought how they might destroy him, for they feared him because all the people was astonished at his doctrine. And when even was come, he went out of the city. And in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remembrance, saith unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursedst is withered away. And Jesus answering, saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. And they come again to Jerusalem. And as he was walking in the temple, there come to him the chief priests and the scribes and the elders, and say unto him, By what authority doest thou these things? And who gave thee this authority to do? The Gospel according to Abraham and, Je and Aram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Naasson, and Naasson begat Salmon, and Salmon begat Boaz of Rechab, and Boaz begat Obed of Ruth, and Obed. Chapter 7 Judge not, or with, and what, or how thou give not, ask, for every ask, and it shall be given you. 
Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things, whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or... Chapter 3 Much eh, for God, but if God forbid, for if the and not what there, as it is written, there is none, they are their throat, whose their feet are... For all have sinned, and come even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all, and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference. For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Hello, hello, YouTube viewers. Listen, just a few minutes ago, I asked my, my nanny, who is a wonderful Christian woman, I asked her, I said, nanny, what can a person do to behave better? Now, like I just said, she is a wonderful Christian woman, and and she just said whenever a person is trying to improve their behavior, she just said all you need to do is start off your day with, with prayer. No need to thank me or her. Just thank the Lord for giving her that advice. I asked her, I asked her that, so I could do this video to help you and I both. Listen to me. I have never once heard a cuss word out of her mouth. She, she, as far as I remember, she has never speaked, she has never spoken evil about anyone. She has never spoken evil about anyone. And she is, she has behaved much better than I ever have in my whole life. So listen, like I just said, she said, whenever you want to improve your behavior, start off your day by prayer. I, I hope this helps you, and always remember, Philippians 4 says, I can do all things through Christ who 
strengthens me. Matthew 6 says, If we forgive those that have sinned against us, we will be forgiven. But if we do not forgive them, neither will we be forgiven. If we forgive those that have sinned against us, we will be forgiven. But if we do not forgive them, neither will we be forgiven. Matthew 6 also says to pray to not yield to temptation. Matthew 7 says, do unto others as you would have done unto you. And it also says, ask and you shall receive. Matthew 22 says, one of the most important commandments is to love your neighbor as yourself. For those of you who wonder, who may wonder what the other of the two most important commandments is, Matthew 22 will tell you that also. So, as I said, Philippians 4 says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And John 8 says, Satan, who is also called the devil, is a liar and the father of lies. So listen, whenever, whenever we need to break bad behavioral habits, Always starting the day off with prayer from now on can help us all behave better. I hope this helps. Remember, no need to thank me, only thank the Lord. Although, however, if you if you want me to thank my nanny, my nanny Gertrude, for this advice for you, I'd be happy to. But but in the comments, please, please, please specify. Thank Nanny Gertrude for this advice. Hope this helps. No need to thank me.